So what is good guys Adnan here and during the long and tiresome wait for the release of the official Lineage OS 15.1 I decided to give a few of the other popular ROMs a try and by public demand here it is. This is my take on probably the most stable Android Oreo custom ROM for the OnePlus 5. Let's begin with the installation process since it is quite difficult for an encrypted device as such. Anyhow you will need to format everything including the internal storage and before doing so just make sure you are running on the latest Oxygen OS update since you will specifically need the firmware of the same. After that it's just a simple flash in the recovery followed by the unofficial gapps package I'll ring right below. The boot up times even for the first pin were insane and if you are wondering why I don't have the traditional omni rom boot animation, we'll get back to that in a while. Let's begin our review with the most notable features of the rom and while it does come preloaded with the great launch here home app, I quickly replaced that with the pixel launcher. Going into the settings app, the very first tab you'll see is the only one which contains custom tweaks on top of the rather stock experience. First off, you get to not only play around with the usual light and dark system wide theme from the style tab, but you can go full in with specific omni themes and really choose the look that suits you the best. In my case though, I ended up installing substratum and applied a dark theme, but the choice is totally yours. Anyways, further on, you have granular control over off-screen gestures like being able to draw a V for torch and O for camera. And you also get to take good use of the ambient display. For instance, you could just wave over your display for a peak of notifications or you could even use the always on mode which I ended up using more. Now the next set of options is what got me super proud of reviewing this ROM and that is being able to change what position of the alert slider does what. Seriously, this is an ingenious feature that I think even OnePlus misses out on. Lastly, you have a very nifty high brightness mode that does exactly what it says. It just increases the max brightness of the rather dim AMOLED screen of the OnePlus 5. Obviously, these are the only few options that got me excited about the experience, but there are like 5 more tabs worth of tweaks to explore. Personally, those are options I'd never use, but few out of the bunch are good like being able to change your hardware or software buttons and having granular control over the dose mode specifications. Jeez. Moving on, fortunately or unfortunately for you, the ROM comes with a bunch of built-in apps. Now I talk with that slight bit of variance because what may be bloatware for me may not be the same for you, but in this case, it sure is a junk of bloat for me. It comes preloaded with a changelog app, a specific omni clock app, an omni switch app, and the list goes on just like my will to uninstall them. Sadly you can't, the max you can do is disable them, and I did. Basically what I'm trying to say is that this ROM isn't made for the pixel lovers in spite of it having a lot of features that could convert it into one. So coming back to the different boot animation thing, I went ahead and flashed a pixel experience mod via TWRP and my primary intention was to add the missing ringtones and notification tone back, but what it gave me in return was more than that. Not only did I get the stock boot animation and the launcher, but I was even able to load up Google Lens which worked flawlessly. That was basically everything I had to sum up for the ROM's experience. This is a weekly build so you can expect many bugs which there aren't many of to be fixed. Let's move on to my personal experience now with the performance and battery life and everything. Performance was a bit sketchy when I first loaded up the ROM, scrolling seemed a bit jittery and apps randomly froze but a quick reboot later caused the ROM never to drop frames or the entire app up until this point. Speaking of battery life, it was exceptional both for screen on times as well as standby. I was averaging anywhere between 5 and 8 hours of screen on time and a whooping 4 days of standby. Even if you feel the battery backup is a bit disappointing, dash charging works flawlessly with the ROM as well. The camera that comes preloaded though is straight up sheet, so just do yourself a favor and sideload the Google camera APK. So concluding this all, does this title of the video still persist? Like is this legitimately the most stable 8.1 custom ROM available for the OnePlus 5? Yes, it turns out that it is. See, stability for me is a good mix of performance and battery life and with the ROM having excelled at pretty much both plus scoring extra points with the many features it has, I'll slam the door shut saying that this is the best ROM to flash for now. That's been it, thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next episode.